Hey folks, let's take a tour of the new Arcade City mobile app. So when you first open the app, you'll see a map of dots. These are the cities chosen by people who signed up uh, on our beta website. And uh, yeah, most excitement in the Philippines and Brazil. U.S., Europe's got a pretty good mix. All right, let's log in with Facebook. We'll add more social login methods over time. Facebook is good for getting started. When you first sign in, even if you've already created an account on our website, uh, this is a kind of a new database. This is going to prompt you first to select your primary class. Uh, if you've ever played a video game like EverQuest or World of Warcraft, uh, this should feel familiar. It's how you're going to be identified uh, on your profile. Now, our focus is rideshare. Um, rider and driver are at the top there. But um, increasingly over time, Arcade City intends to be a one-stop shop for peer-to-peer -peer everything. So there's all sorts of options in here. I encourage you to uh, browse through there. Uh, I'm going to choose driver. Confirm, yes. After that, it's going to prompt for my location. And this is going to put the city, my city, on the profile. Let's see if this works. All right, it did. As soon as it does, it'll pop you into the main view. Uh, so this, uh, the blue dots on here are sort of the live player beacons or user beacons uh, with people who have gone, I call it online. It's, it, it, stays, um, it stays there even if you log out of the app. Um, but this is good for now. So you can see here, here's my beacon. Uh, level one driver profile. There's nothing there yet, uh, but that'll show the post that you have, the guild, uh, relevant actions, reputation system and stuff. Uh, chat, you cannot chat with yourself, but you can log. You can zoom out here and see who's nearby me. Russ Titsworth. Hi, Russ. Have I already messaged you? No, I have not. Hi. Hi, Russ. Thanks for testing the app all right cool uh we don't have push notifications in yet um but the chat room settings there should work uh you can disable push notifications on a per chat room basis um and that'll go into the chat um i've this is a previous account so i've got chat messages in there already uh but you can see those there all right um what else can you do here uh, for now, you can browse sort of a preview of the social posts feed. Uh, these are the introduction posts that people put on our sort of a trial test web app. Um, some really cool posts some people have made in here. Um, a bunch of them are in Portuguese, of course, because we have a lot of Brazilians. There's a cool one from Lagos, Nigeria. Fun fact, our first Arcade City ride in Africa was in Lagos a couple of years ago. All right, so you can browse through there. Um, pretty soon you'll be able to also um, click on them and uh, post comments and then also uh, view people's profiles. Uh, that's not going to work really until we get people creating profiles in the app. Um, it's got to be connected to that. Okay, Guild, this is the next big feature set we're going to um, uh, put in next, probably on Monday, uh, this coming Monday, the 9th. We're going to turn on the um, guild registration process and basically all of the guild functionality. Um, if you use our version 3 mobile app, it's pretty much the same as that. Um, you can see a example charter here, our Arcade City Austin um, you know, flagship ride-sharing network that's been providing service for the past three years in Austin. Uh, completely independently, here's their charter, all the rules that they abide by, so you can use that as a basis for your own charter if you choose to organize a guild. We'll do a separate video about guilds um, in a few days. Uh, there's a whole sort of, there's a lot of stuff to say about guilds, but the basic idea is that a guild is a team of Arcade City users who are going to work together to provide reliable service to their local area. Conceivably, there could also be rider guilds, we're sort of envisioning that at least the initial wave are going to be for guilds of service providers 
um, in a specific city to organize, uh, kind of like our Austin guild has, but this can evolve in lots of different directions. Uh, so we're excited to get that stuff working. Um, you can browse through the menu here. Uh, we, in this version, we just added a change log that'll have, um, brief roadmap of what's coming up next and a list of changes. Here's the bug, uh, fixes that we did today. Um, let's see what else. Tokens, we'll have another uh, video about tokens pretty soon. Please give us feedback. Uh, type any feedback in here. Um, we read all of it and uh, appreciate it. Uh, you can, any bug reports, uh, anything that's wrong with the app, you can put it there in the feedback. Uh, you can also go and tweet at us or post in the Arcade City Square, our global uh, Facebook group with 8,000 people in it. And our, our website, uh, there's going to be more on there uh, pretty soon. Uh, tonight, there should be a map of uh, uh, the signups and such. Uh, let's go back to the app. So that's about it for now. Please test um, in this version that you can uh, go online um, and that you can, you know, you can, when you zoom in, you can see that the your beacon goes in and out. Pretty soon we'll have this tied with different beacons for the different player classes. Right now it's just all the, the rider icon of a person waving. And um, please test the chat, you know. Please message people that are in here. Um, you know, get to know each other. Uh, we'll be decreasing the radius of um, people you can see. Right now it's set to, I don't know, a couple thousand kilometers. Sort of like, I'm in Texas so I can see all the people kind of in the Western Hemisphere. Um, I can't see anyone over here. We have a bunch of people in Europe and Australia. Um, if you're on that part of the world, you'll be able to see them. But on the global map on the website, you'll be able to see kind of where everyone is at. All right, that's enough for now. Um, thank you for help testing. And um, the faster we get any bugs ironed out, the faster we'll be able to get this into the app stores and the uh, unleash global ride sharing everywhere. Thank you.